so hi guys welcome to your pd education so in this video we will interact with biswanath so is currently selected for hpcl so see the purpose of these interaction is right now you people are currently in the same boat after graduating that you all are looking for the you know prestigious position like you know psus and research lab etc okay. so in search of that finding you know people write various kind of exam be it the gate exam or be it the individual psus exam so whatever journey viswanath is having you definitely will get learn very important from point from that journey and you can implement those point in your preparation right see preparation is not only the point apart from preparation there are many point which you need to keep in mind the main point is the process you need to follow and invest time in the right direction so once you will listen these interaction you will get to learn and how to proceed ahead that will be very much you know true with you people right so viswanath before proceeding ahead first introduce yourself please Sir, as you mentioned, my name is Biswanath Samantray. I come from Katak, Odisha. Okay. Uh, I have completed my graduation in mechanical engineering okay. from Odisha University of Technology and Research, Bhubaneswar. Okay. Sir, I was uh, previously working at Adani Solar okay. Project Management, uh, which was a campus uh, placement from okay. my college. Okay. And uh, I I had also written gate uh, in the year two thousand twenty two. Okay. After that, uh, when the opportunity of HPCL came. i applied for that and i got uh, through the written exam after that gt and pi and finally into the merit list so we can say you are the lucky one who directly got you know psus even after one year, one year right only um, not more than one year you need to wait right yes sir you can say so that's great you are very few people are getting these kind of opportunities so first of all congratulation for this milestone and achievement right so you, you, you have done btech right so was it you know somewhere decided already that you want to join only psus or what was basically a long term objective yes sir uh, as psu is a uh, dream of every uh, mechanical engineer to be a part of uh, so i was uh, inclined towards psu that's why i wrote gate but okay. my um, rank in mechanical uh, was not sufficient to get into psus okay. Okay. that's why i I uh, side by side I joined a uh, pri private sector uh, Adani Solar, okay. where also I also uh, got my first industrial experience. Side right. by side I kept preparing, okay. and finally I got the job in it. So this was the only exam you wrote for separate like HPCL or apart from this other exam you have also written. No sir, HPCL was the only exam, and I had also applied for BHEL, but uh, okay. finally it's uh, it was postponed till date. So you are the kind of person who is getting selection in very first thing, and eh? this was your first non-gate exam. You got selected, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And you know, very next year after the graduation, you got selected, right? Yes, sir. that's the great thing, yeah. Okay, so tell me, currently you are working, okay? So were there question related to your work experience? So you know, when you were doing the interview in the HPCL? Yes, sir. There were uh, questions regarding which project I am working. Okay. What is the vision of the uh, why that project was being done? Okay. Uh, and uh, as I was working in, at Adani Solar, uh, we all are aware of the Hindenburg saga that happened in January. Right. Right. So right. there were questions on that as well. So I believe you haven't prepared anything extra for the technical part of the HPCL. Whatever you prepared for the gate, I believe that was the only preparation, right? Yes, sir. That was the only preparation. But the exam pattern of gate and PSU are different. Right, right, right. It gives con conceptual questions and gives approx uh, three minutes per uh, per question. Right, right. But right. for uh, PSUs, we have to solve a lot of questions of little less difficulty level in two point five hours. True, true. So true. the preparation was a little bit different. Which uh, I had, I was a student of Europedia written exam uh, for HPCL module also. Okay. So the uh, micro there is a. Uh, uh course micro, micro, micro module micro module micro it was very very helpful sir okay great uh, the classes were taken by vishal sir okay. and uh, uh, vijayendra sir okay great sir, great in around 3 uh, 3 three, three hours uh, time uh, they will solve around 100 questions okay. and also explain the concept regarding to it true they, uh, for only for psus so it was okay. very very helpful okay and also for the non tech <clears throat> part i uh, the live i had no time only uh, Five to only four point five to five hours of time per day. So the non-tech part I prepared uh, from uh, recordings of live lectures of Jasprit okay. Ma'am, uh, Tagi Sir, and uh, Subia Ma'am. Okay. And the technical part I do not have the time to uh, watch the uh, lectures. 
so i only prepared from micro mode right especially for the working professional or the people who are somewhere stuck with their project deadline and all these micro modules are really helpful right and that's not the case only with you many other students have the same basically feelings and they also have the same feedback sir with this module we can crack the exam by investing very less time right because the content is purely relevant as per the expectation of the exam okay so we know there are two stages for the final selection the first stage is the written test so as you discuss right now the second stage is very crucial for most of the students who are filtered through the written test that is the gt and pi right so what kind of student you are basically you need only guidance or you are aware of these kind of thing that gt is there have you listened to the term gt earlier yes sir uh, i was uh, enrolled in the pgc module okay uh, uh, through get 2022 also okay so uh, from there i got to know about gt i have watched a little bit of recordings but that was after i cleared the written exam okay so, but uh, i was only focused for written exam when uh, a written exam was on November 4th uh, and after 20-25 days, we created a WhatsApp group uh, of uh, the people who have got good marks. Okay. Uh, around 12 people were there okay. and we did regular GT. Okay. Regular, every day we did one GT and in between we also did a uh, uh, mock PI uh, of all the candidates. Okay. So it was very much helpful. After that, when the results came out, your PDA did the job. So what is your view on this? See, most of the students fear from these factors that how to prepare for GT and all. What is your brief suggestion and guidance for those students? Because right now you are the suitable person. You have underwent the entire process, right? So what brief guidance you want to give for those students? No, only practice, practice and practice is the way to remove your fears. I am also a, a very stage fear kind of person. And I had also lots of uh, fear uh, about speaking with uh, unknown people. And as we know, HPCL, uh, the panel is around eight to nine people, right, right. with two of them are being psychologists as right, well. Right. We have to first speak, 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 and only speak. Okay. It is the way forward. Right. You told it really true, right? You need to express yourself. And, you know, when you are doing the practice in GT, you got this opportunity there. So practice GT gives opportunity to showcase your personality, basically, to identify and you know yourself better, right? How you can yes, respond sir. with the different people under different conditions, right? Yes. So, you know, now let's continue with your PI experience, personal interview experience. Can you tell me about personal interview experience? What were the kind of question, you know, do they cover only technical part or both technical, non-technical? So there were uh, various experiences. Uh, just before I, I, my interview was on 24th uh, at Kolkata, 24th Fair. Just two days before 22nd and 23rd, there were a uh, mix of technical and non-technical. But my uh, interview was... Uh, mostly HR related. Okay. They asked, first of all, when I entered, they asked me, uh, are you nervous or something like that? I said a bit, little bit. They asked, offered me water. I uh, took a sip. And then they asked normal questions. When did you came? Uh, where are you staying? Then they asked me to introduce, including my hobbies, uh, strengths, weaknesses, everything. Okay. Then after that, they started about the uh, current, current employment. Okay. So, what project Adani is doing, why he is doing that project, okay. why Adani is such a big name in uh, solar industry. Okay. So, uh, after that, then ask me about the Hindenburg report. Okay. Uh, have you read it? Yeah. Yes, sir, okay. I have read it. Tell some relevant points. I uh, told. Then they asked me, what is your view on uh, Adani scam or something? So I, uh, I think that uh, answer, uh, they were very much happy. I gave that Sir, I am still waiting for our agencies like uh, SEBI and uh, RBI to publish their reports. I am not fully uh, uh, relying on an uh, outsourcing outs like, company of US. Hmm, I think like they were very happy with that. Okay. After, after that, they asked me about BTEC projects and uh, NTPC. I had done an internship. They asked me about that. Fine. This way, it's fine. Okay, so finally, you all set to join HPCL? Yes, sir. So yeah, it's a definitely a proud moment for you, you know, and more to your parents, right? So we wish you all the best on the behalf of the your PD education. You achieve many more milestones ahead in the life, more better than this also, right? So thanks for sparing a few minutes to us. And this will definitely help many of the aspirants out there in the market who are competing and they're preparing for the job because the job market in India is quite competitive process, right? You need to keep on trying the various kinds of exam. So during that process, many people need source of motivation and inspiration. And there can be not any better source of inspiration from those guys who themselves underwent these kind of processes, right? So this will yeah. definitely help a lot of guys. So thanks, Viswanath, right?
थैंक यू वेरी मच सर ओके ओके